it's Jen. Welcome to Art Scene. We are in the artist and art-filled neighborhood of Bushwick, Brooklyn to visit the studio of abstract artist Todd Wright. Let's go see his work. Where are you from and what's your background and, and how have you evolved to this place? I'm from Plainview, Long Island. Mm -hmm. I went to school in upstate New York and then moved back here in 2005 because I wanted to focus on becoming a better painter to get good enough to get into galleries in New York. And that's what really brought me here and that's what brought me to this studio. When I was in college, I started with music as the inspiration. I was just painting to music and a lot of Frank Zappa's guitar solo stuff was the thing that drove those long improvisations of paint, basically. And I think that was the beginning of trying to be fluid and trying to have there be a kinetic energy in the paint. Can you explain uh, what abstract artwork is or what it means to you? What it means to me is taking something and making it your own. I have all of these ideas and all of these feelings and all of these things that I see and I basically interpret them and make a painting out of it. The area around you, which is Bushwick, Brooklyn, mm -hmm. what are some ways that this area adds unique inspiration to your work? Well, there's the juxtaposition of street art, graffiti, text, and color combinations of natural and man-made things. Another thing that I think inspires the work is there are so many people making art in this place that you can kind of feel it. What are you working on right now? This was the first time that I ever had somebody else collaborate with me and this was the beginning really of the whole graffiti concept of melding the fluidity of the line and the design of graffiti that attracts me to the form and then trying to make a painting at it. This happened relatively fast. There's a lot of architectural elements to my work and I think I'm either using a straight edge and drawing it or just putting a piece of tape down and then painting over the tape. So it's a lot about energy and lines mm -hmm. and the way Yeah, the, feels, the flow the of the piece together. is very important. Sure. That was the first time I ever wrote that tag and that became my tag ever since. And what I does it mean? It's sh short for Monsieur. My ex-girlfriend used to call me Mons. It's a little cutesy, and it's but it, but it's stuck. How do you tackle color? Whatever I grab first, and then that becomes the painting, or I have an idea in mind from something that I've seen. Move the paintings around, and if one falls on the floor, it's oh. Or, but for instance, if you see this painting, there's dirt that was swept up. And that's now part of and it. And that's part of the painting. It was also part of the process that that painting is about being an alcoholic. I incorporated this A to, to draw a thread to the, the way that the scarlet letter wore this A as an adulteress. Oh, interesting. The A for adulteress that become, you know, the A so means it's having alcoholic. So it's a similar mark for you that you can serve as mm -hmm. a reminder yeah. and help inspire mm -hmm. you. And it, it looks similar to the way that I felt in the l latter stages of alcoholism being just completely blurred all the time. How do you feel now? I feel great. <laughs> you work on multiple things at once yeah. and then you kind of go into them mm -hmm. and revisit them and rework them. How do you know when something's finished? I think I get to the point where if I feel like if I work on it anymore, I'll ruin it. What kind of experience do you want viewers of your work to have? I want them to be engaged and I want them to maybe see something or think about something that they didn't think about. Thanks again for having me. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming. We hope you enjoyed that peek into Todd's studio and his colorful, expressive work. We're so glad you could join us and we look forward to seeing you next time on Art Scene.